Hello, and welcome to VTC's course on Ubuntu Linux. My name is Chess Griffin. In this episode, we're going to boot the live CD and take a look at the initial boot menu. What you see now on your screen is the initial boot menu that appears after you boot the live CD. So once the live CD has been burned, you can just shut down your computer, put the live CD in your CD-ROM, and start the computer back up again. Assuming your computer boots to the CD-ROM, this menu will appear. Now starting the live CD of Ubuntu Linux, again, is not going to cause any damage of any kind to your computer. This is simply a live CD. It makes no permanent changes. This initial menu gives you a few options to take a look at. The first option allows you to start or install Ubuntu Linux. The second one allows you to start Ubuntu in safe graphics mode. This option could be used if the first option does not work for some reason or you have a corrupted display. The next option allows you to check the CD for defects. The fourth option allows you to run a memory test. And the fifth option allows you to boot from the first hard disk. In other words, to exit out of booting from the live CD and to boot Windows instead. Additionally, along the bottom, you will see some additional help and commands available to you with the function keys, F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, and F6. The F1 key gives you a help screen that, that explains some of the options and some of the choices that are available. And you press exit or escape to exit. F2 allows you to choose different languages. F3 allows you to choose a different keyboard key map if you have a different language keyboard. F4 allows you to change the graphical mode that initially boots from. F5 gives you some accessibility options. And F6 gives you some, gives you an opportunity to enter some advanced boot options. This will not normally be needed by most people. Selecting the first option to start or install Ubuntu Linux is the way to normally start this live CD. Once that button is pressed, the initial booting will commence and it will take a few minutes to fully load to the graphical desktop environment. Live CDs are a little bit slower than normal CDs or normal operating systems. Now, if you end up installing Ubuntu Linux onto the hard drive, it will be much faster. So do not be turned off by the slow speed of the live CD. The fact that this live CD works and allows you to operate the entire operating system off of a CD-ROM without interfering with your hard drive is really pretty incredible. This booting process will continue until you get to the initial desktop environment, which will be the subject of another tutorial. Thank you very much.